Backstory I've worked in construction, paving, and mining for years. Was a fabricator, welder, mechanic, laborer, and equipment operator or a combination of all five at various times. If you're familiar with MSHA, Mine Safety and Health Administration, then you know it's like OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, on steroids. My dad has decades of experience in the coal, iron, copper, borax, and uranium mining industries and is an MSHA instructor, as well as a pilot. My older brother worked in construction and mining as well and is now the safety compliance officer for a huge construction company. My uncle was a journeyman for almost 40 years, that's a lot of years to be a power line electrician and never suffer a serious injury. Needless to say, we have a rather large knowledge of what is safe and what is not safe. Safety regulations aren't BS, they are designed to keep your fingers attached and your heart beating. Literally thousands upon thousands of people have been horribly maimed and killed in order to build these regulations into what they are. I detest employers skirting safety for money. Story I quit my last mining job because the employer was shady as hell, white collar crime shit. Yes, they went out of business, and I was tired of the 200 plus mile commute each day on top of the 12 plus hours of work in 130 plus degree heat. I began looking for a new job and found a fabrication gig building slash maintaining slash repairing off-road vehicles. I rather enjoyed the work even though it paid half what the mining did. Fairly large facility with about 40 employees. I had decent co-workers and this was my first job with air conditioning, BTWAC is the bits, however I couldn't really stand the shop manager, SM. SM was a know-it-all that didn't really know shit about welding or fabrication or safety. It'd say something like I think we can do this work slash repair slash job twice as fast if we do this instead and his normal type of response would be while well, we pay you to work, not think, ask questions, etc. The guy was, and to my knowledge still is, an idiot and I cannot figure out how he got his position. Literally every time you'd step into his office he was watching shit on you to bore reading a magazine. Literally never lifted a finger in the shop in my 1.5 years around there, no idea what he actually managed. For about the first year there, each month I'd put in orders for stuff like welding gloves, respirator filters, welding hoods, welding wire, tools, raw materials, etc. You know, stuff they're supposed to supply. In my last few months there as some slacked even more which I didn't think was possible and started skimping on my orders. I'd order five pairs of decent gloves, he would get me two pairs of shitty gloves. I'd order name brand parts to repair machinery, he would get me cheap Chinese parts. Other requests were simply ignored and I did end up spending my money to purchase PPE, personal protective equipment, which got old really quick. It'd tell him stuff along the lines of hey you can't let people block fire extinguishers like that or you can't store those chemicals there and he'd brush it off like I got no idea WTF I'm talking about. This is where all the safety stuff I learned and been around for decades came in handy. He really started getting under my skin bad so I wrote up a long list of around 20 to 25 OSHA violations I found over the course of a Monday and took about 60 photos which I plan to turn into him since it's his job to fix this stuff. That Friday I went looking for him around lunchtime but couldn't find him so I went to HR and basically vented to them about SM and about how because of his ever increasingly low standards they are begging for an accident to happen. The work environment had become unsafe and it needed fucking someone to straighten shit up. I leave HR and go back to work. Around 30 minutes later, SM walks up to me and is pissed. The convo went a little something like this. SM, HR tells me you don't think this place is safe? Me, yeah man, something's gotta be done about some of this stuff. In fact I got a list for you right H. SM takes list from my hand and rips it in half. SM, we LLFIT so oh oh unsafe why are you here? Me, because I. SM, you know what? You can take the rest of the day off. Me, alright. SM, 
In fact don't bother coming back Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Me, are you firing me for bringing up safety complaints to you? I start getting a fat grin. SM, yes in fact. Me, say no more. See ya. I gathered up my tools and toolbox and left. I get home and file for unemployment. My unemployment claim gets rejected, surprise surprise, and I appeal the decision, so the matter gets sent to arbitration a few weeks later, roughly six weeks after I was let go. I'm in the waiting room and reviewing all the paperwork relating to my claim and the first page I see is the company response to my initial claim which said I was fired for freaking out, being belligerent, and wouldn't say what the safety issues actually were. The next page is their response to my appeal which said I was fired for being belligerent and despite my piss poor attitude they were fixing the safety issues he brought up. I get called into the arbitration room and am actually shocked that no one from my former company showed up. It was just me and the arbitrator, very Judge Judy like lady, she asked me straight and direct questions, I answered truthfully and the whole thing was over in probably 6 minutes. She asked me if I had any questions and I had just one, why did they say on page 1 of my paperwork that I wouldn't tell them what the safety issues were but page 2 says they are working towards fixing the issues I told them. The arbitrator went silent for a minute while reading each page and just says huh. You're right. I'm told it'll be about 2 weeks before I have an answer. The next morning, maybe 14 hours after the arbitration I receive a letter saying my benefits are approved. Plus I get retroactive benefits from the date I was fired and am receiving $100 more each week, net income, on unemployment than I was making full time at the company lol. Fast forward about a year, I saved some of the unemployment money and used it to get my own little fabrication shop going. My dad calls me up one day letting me know that one of his customers that day is an OSHA inspector and they got to talking about what had happened with my former company and me and my dad even showed those pictures to the inspector gay. I didn't have a PC or printer at home so I printed those 60 pics up at his work and left copies there the year before. He said the inspector was appalled by pictures and said he would check it out. Fast forward another year. My little fabrication company gets brought into the fold of the company my dad works at so they could stop outsourcing mechanics and fabricators and it'd be much cheaper to have a mechanic, welder in-house. On one of my days off that same OSHA inspector fella came by and got to talking with my dad again about my former company. Apparently he did a surprise visit to them not long after he had seen my dad the previous year and handed out somewhere in the neighborhood of $30,000 in fines for OSHA violations. Not fixed at tickets. Full on pay this or we shut you down fines. Just gotta say. Felt good.